Hey y'all, welcome to the first in the series of explainer videos done by APHIS PPQ and User Tools Group. I'm Jenny Sauer, I'm a mobile solutions specialist here with End User Tools, and I'm going to explain the explainer video. This will be especially helpful for those who support training in field operations, or maybe who help with troubleshooting techniques. And basically, this video explains the explainer video, and an explainer video explains things. We're likely all familiar with the idea. Kind of looks like this guy explaining something to you in a in a entertaining manner. It's a short video that focuses on a task or overviews a process in really its simplest form, if possible. The concept is heavily used in selling products or services, and there is extensive brain science behind it, as you might imagine. The explainer videos are so effective because they combine audio and visual stimulus to explain a concept in a simple and understandable way. Instead of just providing text or audio, they use both, which is proven to increase message retention. In fact, people who view a web video are 64% more likely to make a purchase. So it creates buy-in, even if you're not selling something for a process or a task. And then add the current changing training climate from one-on-one -on -one to remote demonstrations. And you have what might have once looked like this, where you, that typical, where do I click? And your colleague comes walking over and shows you to step you through the process, which now looks something more kind of like this where we either screen share or we show each other using our webcams how to do something or explain a process. So the explainer video is a valuable technique to share out steps or methods for an important process. What is it? Well, we, when we want to know how to do something ourselves, we might turn to Google. So it's that, that how to search that we might start out with typing how to and see what we get in Google or YouTube. And the answer to that search is a list with varied production or professional level of demonstration or really an explainer video. Sometimes you get a little bit more specific and you get an option that's really exactly what you're looking for. So videos, as you can see, the lengths are somewhere between three to, I think the longest one here goes to maybe about nine minutes. How do you create an explainer video? Well, you want to start with an important topic, something that may need to be understood, or maybe it's a recurring troubleshooting issue. Be sure that it's easy to understand and simple to explain. If it's rocket science, describe it at a high level as if to a five-year-old. It should also be entertaining to watch. We all enjoy something with a little bit of humor and some light humor helps the message stick. Finally, it should be brief. Two to five minutes is ideal with a maximum of 10 minutes. If you cannot cover the points needed quickly, then it probably isn't really ideal as an explainer video. Or maybe you could break it down into separate videos. Common formats for the explainer video all seem to have an element of a voiceover, which is what we're doing with a screencast. Or there could be a whiteboard, a cartoon, a live sketch or an interactive discussion. Sometimes there's motion graphics with 2D text animation or even mixed media video with graphic overlay. This must have you thinking back to makeup tutorials, do it yourself, how to's, cooking shorts, um, personal improvement short videos that show up in your social media feed as commercials while watching TV or because you actively search for them on the internet. Perhaps pointed a need for those you support here with APHIS. With this in mind, how do you go about creating one yourself? Well, creating an explainer video is much simpler than a full training. It takes just a small piece and then it's up to you how to present that piece. And it often starts with kind of, kind of this jumbled up mess of a light bulb cord here to the left, but in the end, I guarantee you can end with that straight light bulb aha moment with a perfect explainer video. So all of that said, a little thought for creating a valuable video goes a long way. You wanna start with a topic and consider whether it is simple enough to explain in just a few minutes. 
If not, you may want to separate elements of the process into two or more explainer videos. Believe it or not, begin with a script. Think of it in terms of telling a story. What needs to be said and in what order? Then consider how you will share the videos best or the visuals best in what format. And finally, what resources do you have? Maybe software, personal skills, or other people who can contribute. Speaking of resources, branding in the government is available. This slideshow is a USDA branded PowerPoint with title, style, and font all set. There's much more out there if you start looking. And then also you collect assets as you create these. Photos, screen share recordings, audio, such as music or interviews that you make along the way, which help illustrate your teaching best. I would recommend collecting and organizing those as assets for future training. Some tools that are available to you. Existing explainer videos. Build upon those, contribute to them. Um, Microsoft products, such as the Office 365 Suite. Adobe Stock is something that's available to all USDA employees, which provides stock photos. All of those photos used in today's explainer video are from Adobe Stock. And again, create your own library of assets. We also have each other. Don't forget about subject matter experts in your field or in adjacent fields who may be able to contribute and other trainers. In fact, PPQ and user tools supports a robust training program and are available. We're always willing to help. Submit your feedback on this video using this form and feel free to request contact if you need it. I hope that gets you well on your way to creating your own explainer videos. Thank you for all that you do and good luck out there.